I think our, our local team did a good job, so I, I really appreciate the work that, that they did. It's, you know, it's, it's um, an honor to work at NVIDIA. It really is an honor to work with the people that we have in our company, because you can kind of see how passionate everybody is about our company, but also about our customers. So this morning's event, as you saw, was an event for the gamers. You know, we did this this GeForce uh, festival, this GeForce land here in uh, Shanghai for uh, China for our China launch, um, because we wanted to celebrate the product that we're doing that we're bringing into the market with our customers that buy it. Um, so we were, we appreciate that you attended, we appreciated that our partners attended. Um, but truthfully, the event was for our customers, for, uh, for them, um, because we wanted them to see and experience what these products are in our life. Um, I think that we made it really clear that we built these GPUs not for old games, right? We didn't build these GPUs for old games technologies. We built them for new game technologies. If you want old game technologies, buy a console. <laughs> right? I mean, truthfully, just buy a console. That's what people are looking for. Because the PC is about having a different gaming experience. Right? That's why we do 3D Vision, because it's so clear how the gaming, a PC, PC as a gaming platform can be different than the than the uh, game console. And it's so clear that with this new architecture that Microsoft has, has pushed out with their, their DX11 API, that we built a art, we built a design, a GPU design, that is really specifically designed to make tessellation great. To be eight times higher tessellation performance in the GTX 480 than a 5870 is an amazing engineering accomplishment. Eight times faster. We didn't talk today about Metro 2033, which is a new game. Metro 2033 probably won't come into, into um, China officially. Um, but Metro 2033 is a great example of a next generation game. And when you run that game on a 58, uh, on a on a GeForce GTX 480, it is a substantially better experience than running it on, on the competition's products. That's because we built a product that is designed for this next generation um, of games, right? So be eight times faster in, in uh, our geometry performance. To be able to do 1.6 billion triangles per second, <laughs> which is a it's like breaking the sound barrier, right? It's, it, is, it is so fast that you can now have really amazing games. Um, and to be able to do both those things, and then to add in all of our 3D vision and 3D vision surround technologies, just in time for all the display and panel manufacturers and television manufacturers to move their entire product line over to 3D, right? To have our 3D vision technology ready for this transition to, to 3D, just perfect for, for the, the game industries. It's perfect for the iCafe markets in China. It's perfect for the iCafe markets in Korea. It's perfect for the gaming markets in China, Korea. It's perfect for the gaming markets in Japan. It's perfect for every market uh, around the world because it allows people to have a different experience. Okay. So I, I want to make sure that you understand and make it really clear that today we built these products for our gaming customers. We want them to have an amazing experience. We built a new generation GPU. It is substantially faster than anything in the market today on these next generation of games. Eight times faster in geometry tessellation performance. And then we built it with all this 3D vision technology which is perfectly timed for this new, new uh, world of 3D, right? Now, 
truthfully, the GPU can do a lot more than that. And we're going to be talking about all the other capabilities that it can do. But today, for gaming, it's about the next generation of games. It's about eight times faster test solution. It's about 3D vision and 3D vision surround. And it's about giving our customers something that they can be very excited about. Okay. Now, we showed the, the, um, uh, some demonstrations today the water demonstration and, and hair demonstration. How did you like those? Right? Those are pretty good. Right? The hair demonstration, I don't think is all that interesting myself. I don't think it's <laughs> such, such an interesting technology. But some people think hair is important. <laughs> um, but, but you can see now what you can do with, with, this, with this GPU. And those technology demonstrations, we take those and we give those to our game developers so they can put them into games. All right? Just Cause 2, which is just coming out now, has the very same water that we demonstrated last summer at Computex, last June at Computex. The same fast Fourier transform calculated water effects that we were demonstrating as a technology demonstration is now in Just Cause 2. Okay, you're seeing the physics effects that have now, physics and CUDA effects have been put into JX3 and MK3 <coughs> here, in, uh, uh, here in Asia. So these are, these are important things that we're doing to try to make PC a, a better experience. So we showed you the, the water, we showed you the air, how exciting and different those, those can be. Um, we also uh, showed the um, uh, Stone Giant demonstration. Now, Stone Giant is a brand new game engine built by the guys at Bitswood. Now, I don't know if you know who those guys are, but they're the former guys from uh, a company called Grin in Sweden. They did Terminator Salvation. They've done game engines that are used in a bunch of different different games. So they're top developers. They built a brand new game engine for DX11. Stone Giant is a demonstration of that. So you saw the depth of field, right? Right when, they, when the, the, the game started out, when the demo started out. There were things that were in focus in the foreground, but blurry in the background. That's a depth of field effect. That same depth of field effect, by the way, which was in Metro 2033. That depth of field effect is really computationally hard to do, but it's very dramatic. It makes games really cool. And you also saw that the tessellation that's done to make the, the giant and the objects in the scene so much more complicated and interesting. Right? You need that tessellation to do that. And then the last thing we showed was our supersonic sled with our crazy driver, Barney, who uh, straps himself on the front of this big, giant rocket and shoots himself down a track to get down there as fast as, as fast as he can. And that giant rocket in the back, that thing is physics. It's got all sorts of physics in it, physics calculations in it. The whole world is tessellated. The, uh, we're doing uh, blurring effects. If you, if you notice, when you're zoom, zooming down the, the, the world, the, 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 world the, uh, the scene blurs just like you'd see in a, in a movie. Right? There's a bunch of different effects that go through that, into that thing um, to show off what you can do with this thing. And he showed blowing up a bridge into a million parts. Okay? If, any, if any of you think that the CPU can be used, for doing the physics calculations of blowing up a million parts and having rigid bodies all calculating and bumping into each other. There's no way it can't be done. Right? I love it. I love Intel CPUs. I have Intel CPUs in my, in my rig at home. But you just can't do that kind of processing on the, on the CPU. So you just find for doing this other kind of processing, you're just not that. You're not going to blow up a million parts. That's why we do the physics processing. Which we do now. So we showed some pretty impressive impressive technologies. We showed a pretty impressive GPU. I love the way it looks. I think it's the coolest GPU we've, we've, we've ever built. Uh, and it is really fast. Eight times faster than uh, the last GPU. Right? It's the best GPU we've ever built. Okay? What questions can I answer for you? I'm going to have some coffee so I can stay with you.